For more such videos, subscribe to our channel. Hi, welcome to this JMeter interview questions. Question number one, explain the architecture of JMeter. The answer is, JMeter is an open source application which is Java based, designed for the purpose of load testing. JMeter supports all major protocols which are supported in Load Runner. But unlike any browser, JMeter works on different levels of protocols and does not execute JavaScript present in HTML web pages. Question number two, how can JMeter simulate actual browser behavior? The answer is, JMeter does not support the actual browser behavior as it does not render the HTML web pages as the normal browser. Such that response can be seen in HTML format but the actual timings are not there in the generated samples. Question number 3, what is the use of regular expression in JMeter? The answer is, regular expression in JMeter is used for extracting some values dynamically from the responses with an objective to use to it in the subsequent request or save it for reporting purposes. Regular expression is used in both preprocessors as well as postprocessors. Question number 4. What are the different methods used in data parametrization in JMeter? The answer is, the objective of data parametrization is to make the scripts reusable where the values need not be hard-coded for the same request with different parameters. The data parametrization that is supported in JMeter are 1. CSV dataset configuration 2. User-defined variables Question number 5. How many maximum threads are recommended on a single system? The answer is, the recommendation of maximum threads on a single system is based on the hardware configuration of the system which includes a processor, JVM, allocated memory XMX, etc. There are other factors as well that impact this such as the number of components in the test plan like the number of configuration elements or processors and it also depends on whether you are using GUI or non-GUI mode. Question number 6, what is the difference between Gaussian and Poisson timers? The answer is, Gaussian and Poisson timers work on a mathematical formula that has some constant delay and additional offset. The point of difference between the Gaussian and Poisson timers is because of in the fact that the lambda value is calculated in case of Poisson timer and deviation is calculated in case of Gaussian timer. Question number 7. What is the primary use of correlation in JMeter? The answer is, correlation is the process of extracting some value from the response of one step into the request of another step. It captures and stores the dynamic response from the server and passes it on to subsequent requests. For instance in order to test any login functionality if you have to use session ID or cookie ID, you can then extract the value from the response of get request of the login page and then dynamically use the same while making post request for login. Question number 8, what is the purpose of listeners? The answer is, listeners are majorly used for storing the execution results of load testing in different forms like table graph, tree or in any other presentable format which can be presented to the client. There are different type of inbuilt listeners in JMeter and many others can be imported into it by using plugins as per the requirement. Some inbuilt listeners like view results in table, view results tree, graph results, aggregate graph, aggregate report, assertion results, and response time graph. Question number 9, what will be flow of test script recorder? The answer is, Test Script Recorder is majorly used to record all the HTTP's request which is going to the server from the application. We should follow the following steps to record HTTP's traffic. Firstly, add HTTP's Test Script Recorder to Workbench. Then enter the port number which you want to start your proxy server from. Thirdly select the target either as Workbench only or add a recording controller in the test plan and select the same as target so that all the recordings are stored under it. Next is, start the proxy server. Lastly. Configure the browser with manual proxy settings pointing to the same port number used in the test script recorder. Question number 10. How can JMeter record actions from mobile? The answer is, JMeter can record HTTP's request by going to the server from your mobile application. Therefore mobile and JMeter should be on the same network. The configuration required to record actions from mobile. First configure the proxy server in JMeter to run at a specified port. Second set up a proxy on the mobile Wi-Fi settings and then enter the same port number that is used in the recorder. Third install the root CA certificate on the mobile. Fourth hit server request from the mobile and observe it getting captured by the specified controller. Question number 11, how would you do master-slave configuration in JMeter? The answer is, 
master-slave configuration is considered as a part of distributed testing in which more than one machine is used to perform load testing of the server under test. Steps to perform master-slave configuration are Edit the jmeter.properties file on the master machine, and add the IP addresses of slave machines against the remote underscore host field in the file. Next save the file and open the jmeter again. Now from the run menu in jmeter, select remote start and choose the IP of the machine to be invoked. Choose run menu and select remote start all to start all the slave machines for testing. Question number 12, would you recommend to run jmeter in GUI mode? The answer is, jmeter tests can be run both GUI as well as non-GUI mode. But it is recommended to run the load test in non-GUI mode since AWT event thread can kill the tests in case of high load scenarios. Some of the non-GUI modes supported with jmeter such as, command line, ANT plugin, Maven plugin, and Jenkins. Question number 13. Can we run Selenium scripts in JMeter? The answer is, we can run Selenium scripts in JMeter to get some ideas on their performance. This can be done by either using Junit libraries to build Selenium scripts and save as jars and copy the same in JMeter directory. Else add Junit sampler to the test plan and import the jar file. Otherwise, we can add the WebDriver sampler plugin in the JMeter extension folder and then restart the JMeter. We can write the Selenium code in the WebDriver sampler and then execute to see the performance. Question number 14. How can we manage session and cookies in JMeter? The answer is, we can manage the sessions and cookies in JMeter by using configuration elements like HTTP Cache Manager which provides an option to clear the cookies in every iteration and also allows to add user-defined cookies. The HTTP Cache Manager primarily helps you in clearing cache after each iteration as per your requirement in the load tests and thereby limit the number of elements that can be stored in the cache. In which case both the configuration elements can be attached to the HTTP sampler. Question number 15. Let us suppose I have multiple screens in my mobile app. Then can JMeter measure the time taken to flip the screens? The answer is, at no point of time JMeter measure the transition time between the screens as it can only measure the server actions not the UI interactions. Question number 16. What is the use of Workbench? The answer is, Workbench is primarily used as a storage area for adding components that can be added to test plan as and when required. Such that the components of Workbench does not get saved with the test plan automatically. They have to be saved separately as test fragments. Workbench is known for HTTP's test script recorder which is extremely useful in recording the HTTP's request and later load can be applied on them to measure the response time. Question number 17. Which programming language does JMeter is based on? The answer is, JMeter is based on Java programming language and not on other programming languages. Question number 18. Which XML parser is present in JMeter? The answer is, JMeter comes with Apache Xerxes XML parser and not with other listed options. Question number 19. What is the default protocol used when testing a web server using SSL encryption? The answer is, the default protocol is TLS which is used while testing a web server using SSL encryption. Question number 20. Which file extension is accepted by JMeter for JDBC driver? The answer is, JAR is the only file extension which is accepted by JMeter for JDBC driver. Question number 21. What is the first step you want to do with every JMeter FTP test plan? The answer is, the first step you want to do with every JMeter test plan is to add a thread group element. The thread group tells JMeter the number of users you want to simulate, how often the users should send requests, and the how many requests they should send. Question number 22. What happens if an undefined function or variable is referenced? The answer is, if an undefined function or variable is referenced, JMeter does not report or log an error, the reference is returned unchanged. Question number 23, how many JMS samplers can be used in JMeter? The answer is, there is one JMS samplers that can be used in JMeter. Question number 24, what is the default port for LDAP over SSL? The answer is, the default port for LDAP over SSL is 625. Question number 25. What is Apache JMeter testing? The answer is, Apache JMeter testing involves using the open source Apache JMeter software for testing of software application. It is applied for performance check of both static and dynamic resources. 
Apache JMeter simulates a heavy load on application, to test its strength or to analyze overall performance under different load types. Apache JMeter is widely used for performance testing of web applications. Apache JMeter is open source software and made in Java programming language. Question number 26, is JMeter easy to learn? The answer is, yes, Apache JMeter is very easy to learn if you are conversant with Java programming language. Detailed documentation with examples and use cases are listed on Apache JMeter website at the given link. Various websites also list tutorials, videos and examples on using Apache JMeter at the given link. Question number 27, how JMeter is used for performance testing? The answer is, JMeter tests performance by load testing the functional behavior of software application and measuring performance. JMeter tests performance both on static and dynamic resources. JMeter is widely used for performance testing of web applications. JMeter simulates a heavy load on application, to test its strength or to analyze overall performance under different load types. JMeter test plan has thread groups, logic controllers, sample generating controllers, listeners, timers, assertions, configuration elements. Question number 28, what is JMeter and how it works? The answer is, JMeter is actually, Apache JMeter and is open source software application to conduct performance tests on software applications. Apache JMeter works by executing a test plan, made by test engineer. The Apache JMeter test plan lists steps to execute. Apache JMeter test plan has thread groups, logic controllers, sample generating controllers, listeners, timers, assertions, configuration elements. Apache JMeter can conduct multiple test types for web HTTP or HTTPs, FTP, JDBC, LDAP, database, mail SMTP or POP3, REST. Question number 29, which is better load runner versus JMeter? The answer is, JMeter is better, considering no purchase cost, huge support and available documentation. JMeter also scores more against load runner as JMeter can conduct multiple test types for web. HTTP or HTTPS, FTP, JDBC, LDAP, database, mail, SMTP or POP3, REST. It also supports multiple operating system and it is based on popular Java programming language, CLI and GUI mode. Question number 30, does JMeter require coding? The answer is, Apache JMeter GUI minimizes the amount of coding needed to prepare a test plan. Apache JMeter does performance testing by executing test plans. Preparing the Apache JMeter test plan is central to Apache JMeter. But validation, verification or customization of test plan require coding for quick and effective Apache JMeter testing. Question number 31, why JMeter is better than Load Runner? The answer is, Apache JMeter is better than Load Runner as, open source so no purchase cost. Documentation and huge support for Apache JMeter present globally by volunteers. Can do multiple test types for web, HTTP or HTTPs, FTP, JDBC, LDAP, database, mail, SMTP or POP3, REST. Runs on multiple operating system. Uses popular Java programming language. Provides both CLI and GUI mode. Question number 32, which language is used in JMeter? The answer is, Apache JMeter uses Java programming language. Apache JMeter tests performance by executing test plans. Its GUI reduces coding to prepare a test plan. With Apache JMeter GUI require very less coding in Java programming language, is needed. Apache JMeter tests the functional behavior of software application and measures its performance. Apache JMeter tests performance both on static and dynamic resources. Apache JMeter is widely used for performance testing of web applications. Question number 33, why do we use JMeter? The answer is, Apache JMeter does performance testing by load testing the functional behavior of the software application and measures performance. Apache JMeter tests performance both on static and dynamic resources. Apache JMeter is widely used for performance testing of web applications. Apache JMeter is used by users across the globe due to Open source, no purchase cost. Wide availability of tutorials, videos, etc. Extensive documentation. Worldwide volunteers resolve issues. Question number 34, how do I start Apache JMeter? The answer is, Apache JMeter can be started in CLI mode and GUI mode. For GUI mode, execute jmeter.bat, 
on Windows, or JMeter, for Unix or Linux, file in bin directory. For CLI mode, run the above files in bin directory, with n flag. CLI mode is used to run the test plans. Question number 35, can JMeter be used for .NET applications? The answer is, yes, Apache JMeter tests the functional behavior of .NET application and its performance. Apache JMeter tests performance both on static and dynamic resources. Apache JMeter is widely used for performance testing of web applications. Apache JMeter can be used for Load testing ASP.NET sites Load testing ASP.NET web applications Stress testing ASP.NET Sending HTTP POST request to an ASP.NET website ASP.NET web forms authentication Question number 36, is JMeter used for functional testing? The answer is, yes, Apache JMeter can test functional behavior of software application and its performance. Apache JMeter tests performance both on static and dynamic resources. Apache JMeter is widely used for performance testing of web applications. Apache JMeter is open source software and hence user can customize as per their needs. Question number 37, how many users can JMeter simulate? The answer is, Apache JMeter can simulate unlimited number of users. Number of users is specified by the number of threads, in a test plan. But, remember that the thread count is limited by the hardware resources of the computer machine the test is conducted and number of file descriptors else, testing speed will degrade. Limitation can be circumvented by conducting distributed Apache JMeter tests or using cloud solutions. Question number 38, can we automate JMeter? The answer is, yes, we can automate Apache JMeter. Automation can be implemented in Apache JMeter by integrating with Maven under continuous testing of DevOps, using Apache JMeter GUI for test plan creation, reducing test plan development, saving and managing frequent test plans, using robotic process automation tool. Question number 39, who uses JMeter? The answer is, Apache JMeter is used by software development companies across the globe like IBM, Oracle, Capgemini. DCS, etc. Apache JMeter is used to test functional behavior of software application and its performance. Apache JMeter tests performance both on static and dynamic resources. Apache JMeter is widely used for performance testing of web applications. Question number 40, can JMeter be used for API testing? The answer is, yes, Apache JMeter supports testing of SOAP or REST web services. Performance testing of RESTful API can be done by Apache JMeter. Question number 41, who developed JMeter? The answer is, Stefano Matsoki, working at Apache Software Foundation, developed Apache JMeter. Apache Software Foundation later redesigned Apache JMeter's GUI into added functional testing capabilities. Apache JMeter is open source software and hence user can customize as per their needs. Question number 42, is JMeter a good tool? The answer is, yes, of course Apache JMeter is a good tool because, open source so, no purchase cost. Can do multiple test types for web, HTTP or HTTPS, FTP, JDBC, LDAP, database, mail, SMTP or POP3, REST. Runs on multiple operating system. Uses popular Java programming language. Provides both CLI and GUI mode. Question number 43, which tool is best for performance testing? The answer is, Apache JMeter is the best tool for performance testing. Apache JMeter scores the most marks as, open source so, no purchase cost. Can do multiple test types for web, HTTP or HTTPS, FTP, JDBC, LDAP, database, mail, SMTP or POP3, REST. Runs on multiple operating system. Uses popular Java programming language. Provides both CLI and GUI mode. Question number 44, how do append and extend differ in a list? The answer is, yes, Apache JMeter is automation tool which automates performance testing. You can easily create a test plan or steps for executing a performance test on software application by Apache JMeter GUI. You can also integrate Apache JMeter with Maven for continuous testing under DevOps and automate performance testing. Question number 45, is coding required for performance testing? The answer is, yes, depending upon performance testing tool being used. 
Apache JMeter performance testing tool is open source which has very low coding requirement. Apache JMeter GUI minimizes the amount of coding needed to prepare a test plan. Apache JMeter does performance testing by executing test plans. Preparing the Apache JMeter test plan is central to Apache JMeter. But validation, verification or customization of test plan require coding for quick and effective Apache JMeter testing. Question number 46, what is JMeter script? The answer is, Apache JMeter script stores actions a user would take in the application being tested. This helps in validating user behavior and application performance under different load conditions. Script helps in replaying user actions so as to better test the application for more used functionality of the software application. Question number 47, how do I open JMeter in non-GUI? The answer is, for opening Apache JMeter in non-GUI or CLI, command line, mode run Apache JMeter.bat, on Windows, or Apache JMeter, for Unix or Linux, file and bin directory, with n flag. Non-GUI or CLI mode is used to run the test plans. Question number 48, what is JTL file in JMeter? The answer is, JTL file in Apache JMeter, is the Apache JMeter text logs or JTL files. It stores result of the test runs. JTL is the default extension and any other extension can also be selected before test execution. If same JTL file is mentioned for different test runs, Apache JMeter appends resultant data at end of the same file. Question number 49, how do I record in JMeter? The answer is, Apache JMeter can record tests by using the test script recorder. The web browser used to record user actions, should be configured to use proxy server for web requests. Steps for recording in Apache JMeter. First, select recording template in Apache JMeter GUI. Second, configure HTTP request defaults element. Third, click start button in HTTP's test script recorder. Fourth, configure browser to use the Apache JMeter proxy. Fifth, record user actions by clicking run then, start. Question number 50, what is the latest JMeter version? The answer is, the latest Apache JMeter version is 5.1.1, as on date and was released on 19 March, 2019. The latest Apache JMeter version 5.1.1, requires Java 8 and above. It has further enhancement from the base version of Apache JMeter version 5. Apache JMeter is open source software and hence user can customize as per their needs. Question number 51, what is throughput in JMeter? The answer is, throughput is, number of incoming requests being served or successfully processed and output sent, as per set parameters, within a time span like seconds or minutes or even hours. As per Apache JMeter documentation, throughput is requests by unit of time. In Apache JMeter the unit of time taken for calculating the throughput, is from start of the first sample to the end of the last sample. This time span includes intervals between samples. The Apache JMeter throughput formula is, throughput equals to number of requests by total time. Question number 52, what we can do with JMeter? The answer is, we can do performance testing with Apache JMeter. Apache JMeter is an open source software application. Apache JMeter can do load testing of the functional behavior of the software application under test. Apache JMeter also logs the test result for measuring the performance. Apache JMeter can be used to test performance both on static and dynamic resources. Apache JMeter has extensive usage in performance testing of web applications. Question number 53, how does JMeter calculate concurrent users? The answer is, concurrent users in Apache JMeter points to multiple users doing same operation at same time like 100s of users logging into software application at same time or concurrently. Number of threads in Apache JMeter simulates concurrent connection to the application under test. It can be configured in Apache JMeter test plan for conducting concurrent users test. Configure concurrent thread group for concurrent users in Apache JMeter. Calculating concurrent users is bit tricky as we can only guess the number of concurrent users and it will be good if we make a guess objectively. Calculating concurrent users in Apache JMeter can be done by dividing unique visitors by their visit duration like 100 unique visitors per minute with 10 minutes per visit results and 10 concurrent user per minute. Question number 54, how many threads can JMeter handle? The answer is, Apache JMeter can handle unlimited threads as it is influenced by hardware capabilities and test plan design. 
Correctly sizing the number of threads in Apache JMeter prevents memory-related issues. Distributed or cloud-based testing can circumvent hardware capabilities but test plan design is crucial and threads Apache JMeter can handle. We can specify number of threads in Apache JMeter. Multiple threads simulate concurrent connection to application under test. Question number 55, what are JMeter threads? The answer is, Apache JMeter thread execute test plan entirely and independently of other threads. Each Apache JMeter thread usually indicates a single user, interacting with application under test. Apache JMeter thread is controlled by Apache JMeter thread group by setting following options. Number of Apache JMeter threads. Ramp up period for Apache JMeter threads. Number of times tests should be executed. Question number 56, can we integrate Selenium with JMeter? The answer is, yes, Apache JMeter and Selenium can be integrated. Use Selenium in Apache JMeter, by making use of Apache JMeter WebDriver plugin. Copy the files of WebDriver plugin to libs and x directory of Apache JMeter. In Apache JMeter GUI, web browser specific tests can be executed like Chrome test or Firefox test, etc. Question number 57, what is JMeter load time? The answer is, load time usually refers to time needed to load a web page but in Apache JMeter it refers to elapsed time. Load time or elapsed time in Apache JMeter is the total time before a request is sent and after the response is received. Multiple threads simulate multiple connections or users, to application under test. Apache JMeter load time refers to requests sent by a thread and response received by the thread. Apache JMeter load time equals to time after the response is received minus time before a request is sent. Question number 58, what is test plan in JMeter? The answer is, Apache JMeter test plan stores all individual elements needed to run the test. It has all elements and their configuration needed to execute test, by Apache JMeter on application under test. A test plan has Thread group having multiple threads, simulating multiple connections or users. We can configure count of threads, ramp up period, time to activate all threads, and number of time to execute the test. Sampler which send request and wait for a response. Different types are as per need like HTTP, FTP, LDAP, etc. Logic controller, used to control when to send request. Listener, gather test result and can output graph or results tree. Timer, used to add delay. Assertions, to check received response. Question number 59, what is Workbench in JMeter? The answer is, Apache JMeter Workbench is just a temporary location to store test elements during test execution. It has no relation to test plan. Data stores in Apache JMeter Workbench is not saved unless configured but, it is not recommended. Question number 60, how popular is JMeter? The answer is, Apache JMeter is very popular performance testing tool. It is open source and has huge following amongst software testers across the globe. Apache JMeter is used by software development companies across the globe like IBM, Oracle, Capgemini, DCS, etc. Question number 61, is JMeter a free tool? The answer is, yes, Apache JMeter is open source tool and there is no cost to purchase and no trial period for downloaded software. There is no licensing cost involved with Apache JMeter download or usage. There is no limitation on usage being enforced by Apache Foundation on Apache JMeter. Only cost involved for a company, is of training of the professionals, on the Apache JMeter.